Welcome to Inside the Newsroom. I'm Anders Gyllenhaal, the Herald's executive editor. And today's topic is Get Ready, covering the municipal budget. Once that was the most boring assignment you could draw. But now it's not only one of the most important, but one of the most interesting. In Coral Gables this year, little kids came out to protest plans that were eventually dropped to do away with the Christmas lighting ceremony. In many cities, angry firefighters, police, and clerks printed up special t-shirts and carried signs to object to layoffs and salary cuts. Many of the more than 100 hearings we covered the past two months across South Florida stretched into the wee hours as cities, towns, and counties wrestled with the most difficult financial outlook in generations. For years, all the clamor of budgeting would end this month when spending plans had to be finished. But now, those deadlines are just the beginning of a new kind of budget season that we'll be watching very closely, where a whole fresh set of questions accompany the increased fees, revenue predictions, and pension projections. All these things affect people's lives, and we're out there in the communities covering them and letting people know the economic decisions that the cities are making that will impact their lives. So you can expect a stream of stories that dig into how cities, counties, and municipal finances are holding up in the coming months and what this means to you. This weekend, we'll run a thorough look at the boom at the courthouse caused by the number of municipalities turning to red light photo monitors. Now they say this is for safety, but there's no doubt that cities are motivated by the money that they can make. On Monday, We'll take a look at the rising cost of parking all across South Florida. Again, a way that governments have found to make up shortfalls. The following week, we'll look at the collective impact of all these new fees, ranging from parking and recreation costs to a new fee for getting married on Miami Beach. Future stories will track how revenues are coming in, how pension funding is turning out, how union negotiations are going, what the use of rainy day funds will mean in the long term, and how all these decisions will ripple through future budgets. Please let us know if you have questions or suggestions on budget issues in your part of South Florida. Here is how you can reach us. As always, thank you for your emails, letters, and phone calls. We very much appreciate your reading the Miami Herald, logging on to MiamiHerald.com, following the news in our iPhone and mobile apps, and tuning in to WLRN Miami Herald News Monday through Friday at 91.3 FM.